So what we're gonna learn today is how to do this. Performing routing in a React application. If you want to add the React router to an existing project, what you can do is open up the package.json file. Here, you just search for React router, and now you just pick the latest version of it, and then you reinstall the dependencies. So how do we use the router? Well, first of all, we need to actually define the router provider element. So inside of your uh, markup here, you will just write router provider. You can intersect like this. And now you will have this router prop here where you must put in a router as a parameter here. And uh, we can create a router using a function called create browser router. And now the parameter here says you will need to supply a route object array. That means we must define a route object array. So we do a const my routes of route object array. And now we will just have a, uh, an empty array here. So currently we have no routes, but this is still a valid signature here. There's uh, nothing complaining about this. And uh, we can just create a route here. So let's uh, do path. And now we design that this is the root path here. And uh, let's uh, put an element for this path here. So we can put an element by just making a React component. We'll do like this, uh, just call this home, doesn't take any props, and we'll just write home inside of a div tag here. So we do elements, home, and now we have one route, which is just the home route, which doesn't make a lot of sense because we could have just put it there without any route or anything like that. So I'll just make another uh, path here called uh, settings, and element you could technically just define the element in line like this hi this is settings uh, but you should totally make a component for it uh, right now i just make everything in one file because uh, this is a very short demo here npm run dev open the path and now you get to home and let's say we want to go to uh, the uh, settings we go here hi this is settings so right now we just have two routes here and I want to add something that we call child routes. So you can add a children property and just put in an in empty array here that will denote that all of the routes that you put in here, they are children of the settings route here. So currently I'll just make a one path here that is called uh, privacy. And then I will just put an element here being a div. And then I'll write this is the privacy settings. And uh, then I'll make another path here. And uh, then I will just make a search. So it's not saying the elements div. This is the search settings. Notice that they don't have these backslashes here. Yeah, that means that this is not relative to the root of the route. So this up here is root, and now this is a nested route within the settings here. And the way that you actually display these child routes is that they are just within the settings page wherever you put the outlet element. So if you make an outlet here, and uh, we run the application. So we go to localhost 5173, and we go to settings. This will still just display this settings. If we could then go to privacy, it's gonna say this is settings, this is privacy settings. That means it's still gonna display this is settings, but now just beneath it, it's gonna display whatever the outlet dynamically uh, determines should be here. So if we go to search, it will just display this is the search settings. So you're using your address bar in order to navigate within the application. Something that is very common is also using uh, parameters. So let's say that you want to search for something and there is a search term here. You could do search term like this with a little colon in front. Uh, let's uh, try and uh, change this into a component instead of just making a div. 
I'll make a function here, function search, return search. And now I will just put this up here. And now let's try and see if we can put in a value for the uh, search term placeholder here and then display it within the component. Um, so I'll use something called use params. const params equals use params. So this is a uh, this is a React hook here. And uh, now I'll just try and uh, put the params into the web page here. And uh, I will do a JSON stringify representation of it. So because this is an object, but we want to make a textual representation of it, I'll just use this JSON stringify here. And now I'll open up the, uh, the browser again here. I'll do search, and then I'll write a ABC. And now this is going to say search term ABC. So search term is here as a key inside of a JSON object. Why? Well, because we put the key name here. This is, uh, if we change this, what to search for, then it's going to say what to search for here. And it says ABC here, because this is what we put in the address bar here. So this is uh, very useful because generally when you make applications, you have uh, dynamically rendered content. So let's say you want to search for a product. So the product has an ID, then you put the product ID uh, within the placeholder here, and then the React application knows what data to fetch from the server once this page is being loaded. So that's very neat. Uh, currently, we're just changing the routes by just uh, changing the text up here manually. Uh, generally, that's not what you do in, in practice. In practice, you'd click a button, and then the button navigates the application. So let's uh, try and, and do that. So I have this home component here. I want to change the div to a button. And uh, then I want the button to say, go to search for ABC. And then I make an event handler here on click. And uh, I just make a little uh, arrow function here. And then I will use another hook called use navigate. I will write const navigate equals use navigate. And right now it says this is not in usage. That's why there is a, uh, a little squiggly line there. I'll write navigate. And now here you can just put in a, a term. So you could do a search um, or it was like settings. No, it was. Yeah, settings. Settings search uh, ABC. So you don't have to write colon here or anything like that. This is just a hard coded route. If we go uh, into our application now and we go to, uh, to home, or oh, this wasn't home, this was just uh, the root. Here we see the button, we click it, and now we go to the search page where it has also put the, uh, the little uh, ABC as the little value for the key what to search for here. And uh, just a little tip, you should probably define a type for this. Currently, we're doing this in a, like a JavaScript-oriented way. If you want to do this in a more scalable way, you would define type my uh, params equals, and then you would uh, define the key here. So uh, what to search for is the key, and then this is a string type. And uh, then you could do my params here as a uh, generic type. And let's say you want to then just put in the, uh, the value by the key name here and go back to the browser and it says ABC here. So this, this is a more TypeScript oriented way of doing the same thing where you use a generic type here. And also instead of using hard coded routes, what you generally do is you would make a constants for your route. So export const settings route equals, and then you could put settings here. So uh, like this, and then you would do settings route. Uh, that's why when you navigate, then you could refer to the settings 
like this settings route and then uh, append things onto it. Uh, this way you have a single source of truth for what the route values are. So if you want to change them and you have a big application, you don't have to change them a gazillion different places. So this is just the basics of having some single source of truth for, for your code. And the last hook that I want to show you is something called uh, use location. So within the, uh, the search here, let's say you want to show the full path const location equals use location here. So I'll just paste in another curly bracket here. And then I do JSON stringify location. And uh, I'll put this, uh, I'll put this into a, an h1 tag here. So we can see this is a distinct text from the uh, query parameters here. This is the current location. And now if we go in here, we'll see a JSON representation of the location object. So the location object returns an object that has a key called path name. This is the current uh, path of the application. It also has other metadata about the path, but what you're probably looking for is the path name here. So if you do like this, it will tell you the exact path here and this here just being the last route segment. So this has been the basics of using the React Router version 7 in the data mode.